the West afford another war at this time? I think the answer is absolutely. And look, the American economy is doing extremely well. Um, inflation has been high. Yeah, 14, 15, 25 dollars for diapers. It takes a lot out of you. We have about the strongest labor market we've seen in 50 years. One of our workers would have to work 400 years to make what a CEO makes in one year. America has passed legislation that is strengthening our economy um, in the years to come for the medium term. Um, we've seen a burgeoning of investment. I'm at a Title I school where a lot of my kids don't have funds to go to the store and buy supplies, so that comes out of my pocket. We're creating good jobs. A lot of teachers have like part-time jobs just to help pay for supplies. Especially for people who've been, don't have a college education, left out of um, really economic progress in the United States. So the United States economy is in a good place. Good place, good place, good place. The United States is serving um, as a global leader in addressing very serious challenges facing the global economy. Tomorrow, I'm going to send to Congress an urgent budget request to fund America's national security needs, to support our critical partners, including Israel and Ukraine. The security package I'm sending to Congress and asking Congress to do is an unprecedented commitment to Israel's security that will sharpen Israel's qualitative military edge, which we've committed to. We're going to make sure other hostile actors in the region know that Israel is stronger than ever. Almost like these, we have to remind, we have to remember who we are. We're the United States of America.